hi. Hello. I'm Alea. Yeah. Okay. So, it's been a crazy few months. Um, a bit of a roller coaster. I put myself through some pretty stupid situations to get to this point. Um, but now I am in Jamaica and I'm feeling quite nice and making a song. thing to face and I spent a lot of time doing that and like pushing my boundaries pushing my boundaries pushing my boundaries until I realized like whoa let's, let's slow down <laughs> I need some boundaries right now including um you know I want some I want to see the music really do its thing um and I didn't realize like some like putting myself out as I am of who I am that doesn't always hit the right note and I'm always struggling with that struggling to find the words how to do it right and so <sighs> hi yeah I'm back okay so now I'm in Jamaica again and whoo ugh, wow it's been such an interesting journey. It's been such an interesting journey. Um, I am finally like calming down as a person and feeling like, oh, this is kind of adult. <laughs> but um, the like, as in like real world grown kind of things. So now I'm trying to, you know just channel that energy and that vibe into the next bit of music that I have for everybody and it's gonna be like I feel like I um hi I'm Olivia I'm a singer and a musician and storyteller um I've kind of spent the past few years documenting my journey but like <laughs> real honest because um, I don't know after a while I became obsessed with truth um, and I, I kind of like to examine it um, yeah weird hobby <laughs> but um, I don't know I find stories very interesting I find um, truth interesting <laughs> and the music has been so far pursuing a certain truth and now I'm uh, currently writing a new story that really kind of delves into the past in a really intricate way and how it ties into the present and the future but um, it's so difficult to become what we expect 
And so what we expect is something negative, then we put that energy out, <laughs> which I hate talking about energy, but yeah, we put that attitude out because the body um, conveys a lot with body language. So we convey this message <laughs> of like, I expect something negative. And then the other person thinks, oh, should I expect something negative if you expect something negative? Because you seem to know something I don't. And then it's it's action and reaction. <laughs> Man, I hate talking about stuff like this um, on camera because then I'm like, hmm, I wonder how it sounds in playback. Is it going to sound like baffling? Hmm. But yeah. So... I think we build up steam over time where we put out something and get something back for it. So um, having a negative expectation kind of makes you nervous and then you kind of make a self-fulfilling prophecy. Ugh. Like, obviously. And you kind of tell yourself, oh, I shouldn't be nervous. But then it's like, well, the only way to not be nervous is if you prepare. But you're so worried about the future that you can't even be present enough to prepare. But what, why that happens is actually not entirely just like all down to us. A lot of things are distracting right now. A lot of things are distracting. And so it's very difficult to stay focused in, in the present moment when you're that distracted. Dream when I close at night 